ladies and gentlemen you are about to see the naked city i'm bert leonard the producer this story was not photographed in a studio quite the contrary the actors played out their roles on the streets and in the buildings of new york itself the windows of the naked city are many things to many people to a decorator there's something to drape to a building superintendent something to wash to a burglar, something to enter. To the realist, they're nothing more than glass oblongs set in facings of stone. To the visionary, they're bedroom and bath star clusters in block-long galaxies. Or escape hatches through which the mind can soar as boundlessly as Peter Pan. Or mirrors into Wonderland with inhabitants stranger than Alice's Mad Hatter. They can even be the only visible opening into a wood of thorns with sleeping beauty locked inside and little chance of kisses at the end. You. Again, you mean? What do you think? I don't have rights like everybody else? And Phil Hone, how about his rights? You gonna take your big foot out of this door? Or do I call a cop? I wanna watch you. I wanna watch your face at 11 o'clock. I wanna see what happens to it when they pull that switch. In 23 minutes, Miss Heller. Operator, get me to police. Behind 48599. Now they can hear you. Well, go ahead, Miss Heller, go ahead. One of your cops is in my apartment without an invitation. I'd like him out. Like now? You know my name and you know who he is. And don't give me any of this jazz about putting it down on the police blotter. Just get somebody over here and drag him out, here.
Maybe you should have called Nicky. Nicky's pretty good at taking care of things, isn't he? 21 minutes, Miss Heller. Now, just how much do you think you can drink in 21 minutes? You think you can get yourself numb enough to make it past 11 o'clock? Is that it? And then everything will be all right, huh? Who gave you Gabriel's horn, huh? You arrested him, not me. Yeah, you. You in the $40 suit and the run-down heels and the ruptured conscience. You make me sick. You touch that once more, just... Oh, wait a minute, Miss Heller. There's a better beat. You hear it? Listen to it. It's the clock! Yeah, I'm hip. You got anything else in mind to pass the time until your friends come and drop the net on you? Like maybe we could bob for apples or something, huh? I used to think women weren't as tough as men. They were more sentimental, you know. And I started reading about some of our more famous women in history. Mm hmm, so that's why you're such a smart cop, huh? And it's not true, you know, none of it. It's all propaganda. I've run into women tougher than steel-jacketed bullets, Miss Heller, just like you. Yes, just like you. Oh, yes, you can stand there. You can just stand there and let a boy die when you know he's innocent. Oh, that poor boy. That poor Phil Holmes. If he was such a paragon of virtue, why'd you arrest him in the first place? That was circumstance. And those 12 good men and true, why'd they turn thumbs down on him? And the judge, why'd he throw him to the lions, huh? Look, sometimes things snowball. Phil Hone dies in 19 minutes. So, we all die. 19 minutes, 19 years, what's the difference? Look, you want to swap with him? You know something? Plenty of times I'd have jumped at the chance. Plenty. Plenty of times. Guys like you don't know from things like that, do you? In this reading you did about how hard women are, did it tell you why? Did it tell you when guys get through slicing you up and batting you around and lying to you, you gotta be hard? What else is there? Men. Pie in the sky. A luxury. The most expensive thing a woman can buy. Because there's only one kind of currency. Herself. And every time she buys, she's that much poorer. And that much harder. Buster, you are now looking at a bankrupt. Well, if you've got to go broke, you might as well do it in style. What, about $400 a month? Is that what this place cost? Then I suppose little Nicky, I suppose he can afford your price. Will you get out of here? Go on, get out! In 17 minutes, Miss Heller. office, Sing Sing Prison, Austin, New York. Uh, Lehigh 48599. Yeah, Detective James Halloran calling Lieutenant Mike Parker. Well, uh, look, as soon as you can, all right? Yes, it's important. will be out in half an hour or so. All those people down there looking at third acts, laughing at the comedies, crying at the heavier ones. I wonder, Miss Heller, how many of those people down there do you think would buy a ticket to our little play up here, hmm? Of course, down there it's a little different, isn't it? 
when the curtain comes down, nobody's hurt too much. You know, on the way home, you stop off, you buy a cup of coffee, maybe some dessert, or some champagne or crepes suzettes, depending. You talk about the evening, you kick it around a little bit. You go on home, have a good night's sleep. Next day, you're back at the office just like before. Nothing's changed. It's been a nice little evening out on the town. But it's a little different up here, isn't it? You and I both know Phil Hone has had his last cup of coffee, his last dessert. That right now, with 15 minutes left to go, the witnesses, yes, yes, Miss Heller, the witnesses, they're all gathering in the warden's office for the big night. I couldn't care less. What makes you think living is such a bargain, huh? Now, you listen to you me. You listen to me. You guys ought to come down off your white horses and get with it. Cut out the fancy speeches about why we're here and where we're going and what it's all about. Any ten-year-old kid will tell you how you got here. Now, you tell me where we're going and what it's all about, and who cares? You don't care if the wrong man dies in that chair tonight. Who says he's the wrong man? I do! Big deal! Look, I know Nikki did it. You know something? You're a million laughs. You want to know what's wrong with the world? I need another drink. Hello. Yeah, this is Halloran. Yes, sir, I'm with her now. No, no, nothing. I thought maybe if you could keep the phone off the hook when the warden talks to the witnesses, I could get her to listen in. Are they there yet? All right, I'll hold on. Look, haven't you had enough of that yet? Men I know never complain. Not that crowd. No, sir. Have another, honey. That's their message. I want you to listen to something. Mm -hmm. I've probably heard it before. The voice of the warden, Miss Heller. Gentlemen, you've been invited to witness the execution by electricity of Philip Holmes. 32961 in accordance with section 507 of the Code of Criminal Procedure. Hone is to be executed in 13 minutes. You will find that the execution itself, once the condemned man has entered the death chamber, will be done swiftly. This is done to spare him any more suffering than necessary. You will also find that there is no talking, no conversation among our men is called for. Procedure is well rehearsed. Everything is done with hand signals. If there is the sound of any voice, it will be that of our chaplain in final prayers. Are the vans ready, Sergeant? Yes, sir. Very well, gentlemen. Time to go. A couple of dozen men, Miss Heller. Riding over to watch a couple of thousand volts of electricity destroy in a couple of seconds what it took almost 20 years to make. talk as much as men? Hmm? It's a fact. They don't. I know. Let's pretend that it's going to be midnight. Not just plain old 11 o'clock. Midnight, New Year's Eve. And we'll have champagne and caviar. And we'll make all sorts of beautiful resolutions. Because I'm the girl can make you forget. See? Woman's got to be hard. Not good enough for you? Hmm? How do I reach you? Just lift your arms, buddy. Okay. 
now you've got no problem. You, Miss Heller, you're my problem. Me? I'm no problem. Once you get to know me. Getting to know me, that's no problem. So, what's your problem? What's your first name? Jim. Jimmy. Nice. Mine's Lois. Jimmy and Lois. Oh, no, no, no. Nikki and Lois. You know, I get the feeling you don't like Nikki. I think of Phil Hone up there. And I hate your Nikki. And then I think of the next 10 minutes. I think of the priest up there in that boy's room right now. You know your trouble, Jimmy? You think too much. Not me. Make you save him. At least I can see he dies with some respect. You get out. Go on, get out. I must have been out of my mind trying to be nice to you. Who needs you? Who sent for you? Get out. The door the other way. I'm not leaving. You're leaving now. I'll have enough. I get the truth out of you. Now you listen to me. Nick wasn't with you that night, was he? No, he was busy, busy somewhere else. Now admit it. Admit you've been lying for him. I hope it's Nicky. Yes? Jimmy, Frank. You a policeman? Yes, ma'am. He forced his way in here, smashed my bar, and pushed me around. I'll handle it, ma'am. I want you to take him out and keep him out. Come on, Jimmy. Sorry, Frank. Look, kid. Everybody at the precinct has covered as much as they could. But if this leaks downtown, there won't be enough fingers to plug all the holes. We're all going to be swamped. Now, look, you're not going to get away with this. I'm going to stay here, right here. And I'm going to keep hammering away at you as long as there's one second of life left in Phil Hone. Now, they're going to have to drag me out. Take it easy, kid. Take it easy. Look, you want me to quote your Article 5 of the manual? You know, you could be hung by the thumbs for this. Look, Frank, a few more minutes. Just give me a few more minutes. I, I can't. You know I can't. Look, kid. If you don't come in with me now, you're all finished on the force. And if Phil Hone dies, and I could have saved him, but didn't, I don't want to belong to that force, Frank. Now you better take him right now. Miss Heller. Miss Heller, look. I'm not your enemy. Just one word. One word from you right now would reopen the whole case. But in a few more minutes, that word will be too late. Forever. I want a drink. No, no drink now, Miss Heller. Music. No music. You got a job to do, right? Huh? Well, me too. To be here in this place to wait. See all these nice things, Jimmy? Pretty, aren't they, huh? Hi-fi, pictures, fireplace. You know what they are? Playthings. My playthings. To keep me busy while I wait. For Nikki. Nikki's been good to me. Oh, yes, a prince. Jimmy. Would, would you think it funny if I asked you to pour me a drink? Please, Jimmy. Thanks. 
You like my apartment? Oh, fine. Yes, just fine. Yeah? It stinks. Men stink. Yes, I know, I know, Miss Howard. You told me. Not an apartment. It's a prison. Yep. It's a prison and Nick's the warden. But you know something? If it wasn't Nick, it'd be some other John. Okay, so if I knock it, why am I here, right? Huh? Because I'm a woman, and that's about the worst thing that can happen to a girl. You try to make it on your own, but you can't. There's always some guy with a wallet and a key that comes along just when you're drowning. Now, look. If I'd known you for 20 years, I'd never know you better than I do right now. So listen to me, Miss Heller. Listen to me now. When they strap that boy into that chair, when they burn out his brains, you'll die. Inside, you'll die. And no matter how far you go or where, you'll be just as burnt out inside as he is. Okay. So one life equals one life, right? I mean, one equals one. If you mean Nikki's life is worth Phil Holmes, you bet not. Okay. Then suppose I do pick up that phone. Suppose I say Nikki wasn't here that night. The kid lives? Yes. Tonight he lives. Tomorrow I die. Nikki'd kill me. No, no, no. We'd pick him up so fast he'd never know what hit him. And his friends? Look, Miss Heller, I promise you, if you save that boy up there tonight, no one will ever bother you again if I have to stand guard personally. The rest of you like? You said this place is a prison? That Nick's the warden? All right, Miss Heller. Last chance to break out. Hello. Look, hang up. Make that call. Three minutes. I can't. Hello? It's Nikki. Hello, Nick. Yes, you did hear a man's voice. Who? Well, I don't think you'd like to meet him. Nick, d don't talk just for a minute, will you? I, wa I want to say something. I want to say goodbye, Nick. No. No, I'm, I'm not drunk. No, really. I want to say goodbye and thank you, Nick. Where? <laughs> That'd be telling. Yes, honey. Yes, you made me happy. You know, it, it's a funny thing, Nick. And all the time we've known each other, I, I think this is the longest we've ever talked. A and it's the first time I ever really said anything. Fine. And thanks. Can you imagine me crying for a guy like that? Operator. Operator. The governor, please. Emergency. Look, let me have that. Hello, operator. This is Detective Howard, New York Police Department. Badge 41367. Look, I want an emergency line. Yes, that's right. Authority SS-14. Stay of execution, Sing Sing, New York. Yes, please hurry. Thank you. There are eight million stories in the naked city. This has been one of them.